hi guys welcome back to a new tutorial series of mysql mysql is one of the most popular open source databases database server available so in the first part of this tutorial i am going to explain how to set up mysql server on your computer so first you need to download mysql so open your browser just type mysql download from this website you will get a suitable version of mysql server for your computer and i go to this website on left side you can see mysql on windows option is present here because i using a windows platform just choose that option and here is the mysql installer choose it and here is the downloading option for mysql server for mysql installer for the windows platform here there is a note mysql installer is 32 actually it's a 32 bit but it's compatible with both 32 bit and 64 bit binaries so here is the latest version and this is the web community and here is the installer community installer community so i'm going to download this this of 234 MB of size I just download it <coughs> okay before going to download you need to create an account on this website if you do not have an account on MySQL website just create and create create one now I already have an account so now I am going to log in for downloading that package okay oh I successfully log in now my download link is appear now I am going to download just click this link okay here is my downloading is started okay after the successful download you will get an icon like this this is the mysql installer now I am going to install it Okay, here is the MySQL installer installation is started. Actually, this is an installer window of MySQL. You can uh, you can install a various number of MySQL products using this installer. Uh, here is the option <coughs> install MySQL product. Use that option. Here is the license agreement of the installation. You need to accept that license agreement and click next and here is an option for find out the latest product from the internet so connect to the internet or you can skip if you do not have an internet connection you can skip this uh, you can easily skip this step so i click execute now connect to the internet and fetch update product product information okay now click next here there are <coughs> developer default by using this option you will install the mysql server also mysql workbench also mysql visual studio plugin mysql connectors etc examples and tutorials documentation all these components are installed so if you want the mysql server only you can install this option if you want the mysql client only you can install this and if you want the full product and product and features of mysql you need to choose this option now we need only the mysql server so i just use the server only option and click next again click next now the mysql to be installed mysql server version 5.6.15 <coughs> again click next execute now the installation is in progress okay now the mysql installation that means the mysql server installation is no success again click next now we need to configure the mysql server so now start the configuration for mysql server click next 
you can see that the port number is 3307 this is the port number used by the MySQL server open a firewall port for network access and ok now click next here you need to specify a username a password for your root I already installed this MySQL server in my computer that's why it's asking for current root password if you are if you are install a fresh copy of MySQL then there is only two options MySQL root password and repeat password options are present so I type my previous password now current password okay password is weak for me okay that's fine again click next <coughs> nothing to change in this option again click next now here is the configuration is in progress ok configuration is completed now and click next now click finish now, we, now you will successfully install the MySQL server in your computer for checking it just go to the start menu go to all programs go to the MySQL option and here is MySQL server 5.1 use the command line client and you need to specify now the command prompt is open up and you need to specify the current password of root provide that password now we enter into MySQL server I just type a query show databases this will show all the databases available on the server ok now the MySQL server is now ready in my computer Guys, please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.